What's going on, everybody? Well, with Tangible Triumph, life, inspiration, motivation. I'm hoping yesterday's live podcast, Soar Into the Week, got to you, and we're here to help you step into your week on the right foot. A topic I want to discuss this week is the topic of family. I'm going to be talking about family a lot this week, and to my surprise, I, I reached out to quite a few people to ask them, what they thought family was, and if family is blood. Funny question, you might ask. Why did I ask the question? Well, sometimes I hear the expression, blood is thicker than water. You always stand by your family. And family is your family, right? Grew up together, you have these people around you for your entire lifespan, and that's that. Well, I've come to the conclusion after speaking to many individuals that family isn't just blood. What makes a family member's loyalty? What makes family a family member is their understanding of you and the unconditional love they give to you as a person. I've got many people involved in my life that I consider family and I always will not because they were born with me or in my lineage or a cousin of mine. There are people that I've met a year ago that I consider family and there's people that I've been friends with my entire life where their entire family is mine. I find it an interesting concept that so many people lead themselves to believe that others don't care about them. There's a misleading concept that if people don't reach out to you, they don't care about you. And some of these family members that I have, I don't speak to for years on end, weeks on end, months on end. But th those people are the ones that I can pick up the phone and pick up right where we left off like nothing had ever happened. And that is the genuine connection you have with these people. And to me, that's what signifies a true member of the family. I have many people in my life I consider, that's my brother, that's my sister, that's family. And each one of those individuals has a specific reason why I consider that person so close and near and dear to my heart. So for people to tell you that family is just family that is not the truth family could be somebody that is not blood family is considered the people that care about you and want to see you do well no matter the circumstances the ones that don't use things against you the ones that stand by your side when you're even possibly under pressure from your real family to the point where your real family does not understand you, but these people do. Your family can hurt you more than the people you consider your enemies, because family you trust first. I'm not telling you to disregard your true family, and that is not what this is about. This is about the concept of developing real connections and communicating with people that genuinely honestly care about you let that soak in for a minute to be able to use the word family connected with individuals that you've just met a year ago people you consider your best friends that's a powerful statement Sometimes we've lost the meaning of family. And I want you to go through this week and ask yourself, who is your family? Who do you consider your family and why? Because anything and anybody that's putting toxicity into your life does not belong in your life, blood or not. 
we all owe it to ourselves to continue through life being the best person that we can be understanding that we do matter and sometimes we matter most to those people that have just gotten to know us or barely know us at all with that being said let your guard down don't let people take advantage of you but let your guard down once you understand that not everybody is out to hurt you you can begin to develop real relationships have a great week everybody let's soar into the week on the right foot and retrain our minds to build a bridge between self-discovery and reality you got me there i slipped up a bit but yeah real shit real shit who's your family have a good day peace